Welcome back. The arrest of four terrorists has exposed the shortcomings of talent verification system once again. It has also highlighted the Lex Lascher attitude of the beat policemen. In addition, this incident has revealed that even general public is not responsible enough to verify the antecedents of a person before renting out a premises. The four terrorists were residing in Kansavli from last three months. They had taken a house on rent in Bazar Vado. We spoke with the owner of house. He refused to speak on camera but informed us that he had no clue about it. He had allowed them to stay as they had appeared before him as a family and he had submitted the tenant verification form to the Vasco police. Local leaders have appealed general public to be more vigilant. Beat policeman has to verify the tenant verification form. However, Goa police had no clue about the whereabouts of this terrorist. It's only after the input from Manipur police the terrorists were nabbed. How Goa police should have known first comes in the domain and in the knowledge of police from other states and then we are aware. It's, uh, I don't know how the police department is functioning. Uh, I'm, I really feel uh, uh, surprised at the way things are. Information about the terrorists reveals that they are members of People's United Liberation Front, an Islamic terrorist group established in 1993. More importantly, this association has links with intelligence agencies like ISI and terror outfits like lashkar e taiba and Huji. One of them was also arrested last year in Bengaluru on 24th May. Right now, police have refused to comment on the intelligence failure. Our reporter in Vasco, Surendra Madkaikar. A 16-year-old girl died in a bus mishap at Asagao in Mapsa. This is the second accident within two months. Bus hit the girl and dragged her at least 10 meters away. People got furious and police moved the dead body without doing panchanama. Suman Ramnath Vishmakarma, aged 16, died in a bus mishap on Thursday evening at Asagao. She is a native of Haryana and currently residing at Asagao. A bus plying from Mapsa to Asagao banged the girl and dragged her almost 10 meters. She was waiting along the roadside with her family for bus. Police reached at the site and moved the body of the girl without filing a panchanama. The locals present there got furious and stoned the bus. The driver of the bus is absconding. P.I. Manjunath Desai and Shioli MLA Dayanand Mandreka reached at the site. A reporter from Mapsa, Sham Sundar Fatte. It is said that some parts of Goa still don't have proper roads. Villages from Lolia in Kankon are still waiting for hot mixed roads. They have demanded repair of roads in their villages. They have also threatened closure of NH17 if their demands are not met. This is the so-called tar road at Lole. Villagers and Mashe, Aga, Spere travel on these roads. Many roads in this area are lying in a dilapidated state. Villagers claim that they have complained to all concerned authorities, but no one has looked into the matter. They feel neglected and are complaining of stepmotherly treatment because Kankon MLA belongs to the opposition party. I am a minister. 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 I am
आणि मिनिस्टर पावर नसताना ते एम एल एच्यान कसलोच करपा जायना पण चर्चिलान कितें सांगले तुमकां खंयचो पावस तो पावस जाऊन गेलो तरी गेल्या वर्षा चड पडिल पण आता कितें चालत आता कितें म्हणत आता काहीच खबर ना न्हय रस्त्या आजून काय केलं ना पावस आज परत येऊपा जाला हंगाचे लोक ह्या रोडाक लागून एकदम बेजारल्यात तशेच बसवाले हांची बस सेवा बंद करपाच्या तयारीन आसात हंगाचे लोक बेजारून आता आक्रमक जाल्यात आणि हायवे नॅशनल हायवे सेवन्टीन बंद करपाचो निश्चय घेतला ताणी हाचे बेगी बेगोबेग कारवाई जाऊन त्यांना डांबरीकरण जावचे हीच लोली लोलयेच्या लोकांची मागणी असा प्रुडंट मीडिया खातीर काणकोणच्यान बबेश बोरकर Corporation of City of Panji has ordered many households in Althin to remove their encroachments from footpath. Many high-profile people had illegally extended their gardens on footpaths in Althin. CCP wants them removed before their March 13 election. Here is a report. This was the scene at Althin on Wednesday night. A high-profile family voluntarily removing their extended garden on footpath. They removed it after CCP objected to this encroachment. Many high-profile people had encroached on footpath in Althin by extending their gardens. Even CCP corporators are in this list. Few days back, CCP corporator Mangaldas Naik was caught on camera removing his garden that he had illegally extended. CCP started acting on this encroachment after receiving complaints from concerned citizens. <laughs> बाबूशाकूय आपण हाडलो त्यांनी किंवा ते असे भवन आमकां वॉर्डान दाखयला आणि ते आम्ही वर्क त्यांचे घेतात त्यांचं डिमांड असा आमकां साफ करून दिवचे म्हणून क्लीन करून दिवचे म्हणून ते आम्ही आता क्लिनिनस केला त्यांना त्यांच्या लोकांच्या रिक्वेस्टा प्रमाणे त्यांच्या लोकांचे तेचेरूय हे हा कंप्लेन असा की फुटपाथ आमचे एनक्रोच केला किती मग ते आम्ही सांगला कांचन कोणे एनक्रोच केला त्यांनी काढचे म्हणून काढटले ते नाजाल्या मागीर आम्ही काढटले Sources say CCP has also asked Chief Secretary to remove garden outside his house that is illegally extended on footpath. Sources also say CCP has started acting tough only because of their election. A senior reporter from Panji Rakesh Kanolkar with video journalist Devendra Gaukar and Omkar Farhari. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned.